Hey everyone, it's Temu here. Today I'm going to tell you five tricks that I found out from the song Ghost of Days Gone By by the band Alter Bridge. So the first trick that I found out was the pickup bar, meaning that um, the verse and the intro riff starts right before the first beat. And the same thing also happens with a chorus vocal melody. For example, that gives a lot of more attention to the, um, to the note that is on the first beat once we hit the chorus, for example. Um, I think the lyrics were, do you feel the same? So you get a lot more attention to the word feel in that situation. Number two trick that I found out from this song was repetition, especially in the verse part of this song. Um, if you take a look at the vocal melody, it's basically just or something like that. And as you can hear, there there is a, like um, two part, at least two times to kind of the same melody, and then you have a variation of it at the end. So it's it's kind of like having an answer to that uh, melody. You also have the same thing happening in in the chorus. You know, once it starts with a line, "Do you feel the same?" and then there is the other line that is having also the same kind of melody, and then you have kind of the uh, the answer to that melody line, too. Number two trick here that I found out from the song Ghost of Days Gone By is that the highest note is in the chorus section. That also makes the chorus stand out a lot stronger and become a greater hook for the song. That's what I find out when it comes down to songwriting in, in general. Of course, there are always some exceptions. And number four trick is related to the lyrics of the song, especially again, the chorus part. Um, in the chorus, it starts with, uh, with a question and then there is a little bit more details about it, like the question thing. But the main thing here that is the trick is to end the chorus with a song title. So basically everything in the chorus is going to lead to the song title here. It makes the listener also remember the song a little bit more better because it's in the part that is the hook of the song. At least that's what I think about it. Number five trick that I found out from this song is the open tuning that has been used for writing this song. Um, and here's why. I think, first of all, the riff that is used, the riffs in this song, are basically byproduct of using this kind of open tuning. And the second thing with this open tuning um, statement here is that I think also the uh, harmony that it offers for writing this song. It also gave the overall mood for this song that um, serves the song a lot better. So I think it's also the harmony and also gives the inspiration and possibilities for writing those um, licks and riffs that are in the verse and intro riff that is really melodic and also the solo itself. That is also a really melodic thing and becomes a lot more memorable that way instead of just strumming chords. So those were the five tricks that I found out 
from the song Ghost of Days Gone By by Alder Bridge. What was your favorite one and did you uh, have you paid any attention to those before? And um, by the way, the tuning related um, songwriting course is coming on its way. So if you're up for learning more about this like open tuning world, I'm working on it and going to offer it quite soon. So please hit thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know about those songwriting tricks, what you thought about them. And subscribe for more content like this and hit the bell icon so you won't miss more content like this in the future. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, I really appreciate it and see you on the next one. Goodbye.